Hey everybody, this is Test Chamber. We're taking a look at uh, Codename Steam. I have our current interns, Justin and John here. Hello. Uh, Justin, you're playing, right? Yes. And then of course we have uh, Kim, Unbreakable Kimmy Wallace is her new name that I'm giving her just now. And uh, so we're gonna so we're gonna take a look at the introduction. We're gonna get a look at the tutorial. So you can go ahead and kick it off, Justin. Cool. And uh, Kim, you reviewed this. Yes. So tell I did. us everything about this game. Wow, that's a lot of pressure. So yeah, you go you start this off and you go into look at the little amiibo oh, there. Isn't that oh, adorable? Actually, this does have amiibo support. I actually used my Ike amiibo in it, which he is. It's one of those at. amiibos you can't actually find. Well, that's that's what makes it so I, I found them. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course you did, Justin. You're so good at that stuff. It's ridiculous. Well, Justin's a super collector guy, right, Justin? Uh, so for look, Amiibos, sure. For Amiibos, okay. <laughs> We're in London right now. First mission, I believe, is at Buckingham Palace. If not, it's in like one or two. But anyways, so this is kind of more of a kooky concept. Like, you, you fight with Abraham Lincoln... Like, he recruits you to take on all these extraterrestrials that have just been sweeping the world. And um, you start off with the main characters here, but as you go on, you'll recruit people from, like, The Wizard of Oz and Tom Sawyer's Adventures. So, The yeah, Adventures of Tom Sawyer's. Yeah, So, it's kind of... So, it's historical and, like, fantasy, like, Yeah, it's, like, fiction. combined, which is cool, but just, I want to warn everyone, don't expect too much out of the story. <laughs> I wanted it to be a little crazier than it actually is, but, you know, I didn't play a strategy game for the story, obviously, and where it counts is the strategy. The systems are really cool, so basically you have so much steam that you can use in a turn, which we'll see in a minute when we get into combat after this, uh... This and cut scene. This opening cutscene looks awesome. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the idea of like the sort of uh, it, it gives a conceit for turn base, right? Is that mm -hmm. you have to wait for your steam to recharge? Well, between turns it recharges, so you only have you'll have so many steam bubbles, and as you walk, you kind of eliminate those. Um, what's cool is if you end your turn and you still have, leave some steam in the can, um, if an enemy gets in your line of sight, you'll launch a really devastating counterattack, which I did sometimes when I was like, I'm not going to waste my steam going over there this guy can come to me and he's gonna get it so mm -hmm. is that uh overwatch thing something that triggers automatically or do you have to like choose it um you have to it'll trigger after every turn basically okay okay yeah so that's the thing that has been brought up and it is my one big knock at the game is that after your turns you have to watch the enemies take their turns and I timed it a few times and it was it took takes around a minute minute 30 maybe um which when you get to larger maps, when you have like 10 enemies on the screen, it can be a little annoying after a while. But um, I'd say if you played the demo and you were able to handle it in the demo, then you'll be fine here. I mean, it does slow down the pace of it, but um, it's obviously was a design choice. I bet they thought, you know, seeing the mo aliens coming at you would cause some tension. I agree. Sometimes I was like, oh, man, I can't believe I set myself up to get that attack which then launched me into another aliens attack and whatever but um you know i really found i liked the game a lot like i was pretty addicted to it i was playing it every night a few missions and i like it because it's not an easy game by any stretch and i know people know intelligent systems they've obviously done the fire emblem series advanced wars fire emblem is my personal favorite i will say this is not anything close to Fire Emblem, and I'm kind of happy about that, that they try to do something completely different. But it um, still fits in that strategy genre. Yeah, it still sit, fits in the strategy genre, but I mean, you're not, you don't have guns in Fire Emblem, and you're not, you don't have as one. much movement. How, so. how similar is this to uh, Valkyria Chronicles? People use that comparison, and I honestly, that never crossed my mind while I was playing it, that it's really? like Valkyria okay. Chronicles. I guess like the movement, right, in place. Yeah, you move yeah. and shoot, right? But Yeah, but it doesn't... Um, what about XCOM? That's another one. Yeah, I that's what I was, yeah a lot yeah. of people are like, oh, in XCOM you watch the enemies, and yeah, yeah it's got a little bit of that, but... Yeah, so that's a good guy? Yeah, oh, he totally. looks like a nice Cthulhu monster. <laughs> So yeah, here we are. Okay, so Justin, you're actually playing now. Are you a strategy uh, guy? Like, do you like Fire Emblem and those type I, of games? I really like Advance Wars uh, more than uh, Fire Emblem. Gotcha. Whoa, um, we're opposites. I here. know it's terrible. Um, oh, well, <laughs> it's yeah, lovely I mean, having you on Test Chamber. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> Better take off. <laughs> um, no, uh, yeah, I, I'm. I actually just mentioned Valkyrie Chronicles. That's another one I really like. 
Um, so that's why I'm excited for this game. Hopefully. What about you, John? Are you a big strategy guy? Are you looking forward to this? Um, yeah. I mean, like I like you said, I like uh, Valkyria Chronicles. I will take Fire Emblem oh. over Advance Wars, but do um, we have a stylus? Oh, you got to use your finger. Oh boy, you can do it. All right, not used to this. And you use that the too. stick to move. Yeah. Um, okay. Question. Uh, this uh, does this work with um, uh, Circle Pad Pro? Like, if you have a Circle Pad Pro, mm-hmm. can you do yeah. the camera? Mm-hmm. Okay, so kind of like Monster okay. Monster so, Hunter. So you yeah. can probably so, use it with the new 3DS. So as these well. are important. Yeah. If you go up to those, it, they all these levels have all levels have it where it has gives you a little hint about how to play, and it'll actually give you extra steam if you go there. So right now, Justin. Oh yeah, you can see. Yeah, he like, can see on the ground. There's like stuff. Yeah, and there's all this stuff to pick up. Like that will Should give I you go health. For the book? That'll give you health. You don't need health right now. Okay. No, so I'm yeah, you'll march. break boxes. You'll you'll destroy things to get extra bonuses, and that's nice too. Because sometimes you're on the battlefield and you're like, oh man, I don't know if I'm going to be able to heal. And there's save points also, which you can spend money to restore your health and save. Savings free, but if you want to like revive your whole party. Also, this is Ben Hansen producing this thing, butting in. I recommend using the face buttons to control the camera instead of the stylus. See, I use a stylus. Ben uh, I'm more of a face button all, kind of guy. Yeah, yeah, we'll let Justin yeah. decide. We'll see. I'm, we'll see. I'm very happy I have a we'll stylus see. now, at least. See, you um, got, and you can get to the. You don't even have to fight everyone. You can just go to the goal if you want. There's oh, that, also, that's a way to complete a mission. Yeah, there's also a bunch of collectibles on the field, like gears, and that will help you like upgrade to better better weapons so you want to get those but sometimes you're like crap i'm not going to pass this level if i if i go there it's, it's the lure Sorry, of the risk i call it more than you <laughs> that's the line and this is really campy right it's yeah is it cheesy it's like i know it's inspired by uh, sort of like 50s era comic books mm-hmm. i think and that yeah kind of it, it's definitely campy but i kind of like it for that it's reason silly. Well, it's probably. I mean, because Fire Emblem's pretty dramatic. Yeah, that's what know, I like. So it's it's, so, nice it's a kind that. of a big departure, and I feel like that's More what they. Monsters. That's it's refreshing that Intelligent Systems was like, let's just do something, a little offbeat. I think I it mean, said girl. Is that what I read in green text? What, what was the green text about? Anyone catch it? A no. goal. <laughs> <laughs> Reach the girl. Yeah. <laughs> Hurry. So see if you check in in these, they'll give you hints. You obviously. It's kind of nice. You don't need to commit to, you know. You can just walk anywhere in this square zone. Oh yeah, and sometimes what's cool is you can pick up an item and then go back and reget your steam. Um, so, as long as you don't commit to it fully. And right now, if you were to leave like a few steam in there, yeah. you would counter attack. That's if that's how the Overwatch like, works. Enemies. Uh, the so Overwatch is actually when they take their turn. So, oh okay. Yeah. Is aiming important? Oh, people like you want to aim for obviously if you can the glowing orbs on them, um, which would be getting around behind that. Yeah, so okay. you'd want ideally you'd want to be behind them and then shoot. So okay, yeah, I wasn't sure if like you know uh, accuracy played yeah, into the combat control. or if it was just yeah, like fire your weapon moving. on this guy and you will get the standard amount of, yeah. of damage. And then as you go on to every team member will have a special attack that you can use. Good job, Justin. Um, yeah, and you can only guy. use it once per level though, but those are pretty devastating and they're all different and cool. And forward. like as you go on, you'll recruit new team members who all have different Enemies skills. Turn. Like you'll get a sniper later on. You'll get one who can just like launch like far attacks and it will stun all the enemies in the vicinity so it's picking and you can only have four in at once you'll eventually get a four member party hey Um, kim hey speaking of other party members you want to jump ahead to when we have john henry in the team yeah why don't we do that i like his weapon better this guy sucks by the way i (laughs) i never used him all right let's jump ahead then look over there all right so we're back in we jumped a little ahead in the game i don't know like an hour in uh, i think so uh, you like. got you got a new team, some more people. Uh, we got rid of that guy that Kim hates for some reason. No, he's still in this. Um, uh, oh, oh, so he, you're, that loser is still in your yeah, team. Yeah, he's still, okay. like I said, he starts off pretty powerful, but then as you go on and you get other characters, you're like, why on earth would I lo- use this guy? That's so. a shame because he's the main character. Yeah, right? I, I didn't use him towards the end at all. Um, because you get so many cool party members. I mean, you do get a lot. I think... Uh, I'm estimating right now, so I'm going to take this probably at 10 to 15, about, as you go through. Is this how most of the story stuff is, like, conveyed, these little scenes before the story? You'll have, like, some cutscenes, too, after certain missions, so... 
John is awesome with his grenades, by Bear the way. Air grenades. I used him the entire game, actually, because it's really effective to be able to just launch those attacks and see he can also damage objects in the process of doing that, which... He also has a, a lovely jaunt. Am I hitting that guy? Yep. Go for it. Uh, and is he a historical guy, or is he an original character <laughs> with the robot leg? John Henry? The <laughs> yeah, like, greatest tall tale hero yeah. of them all? What is going on here? I don't, I don't, I'm not, I don't really know John Henry. Are you familiar with Paul Bunyan? Yes. Okay, do you remember John Henry the, what is he, the, is he, 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 he raced that stupid locomotive yeah, to the mountain and died. Okay. No, I really, I don't know that. Like, I don't know that tall tale. Taking cover is very important, too, in the game. You don't want to, like, leave yourself exposed. So okay. there's all, all these different spots that you can... I'll have to keep that in mind next time. Enemy I guess I'm gonna turn. tank with this guy. <laughs> oh boy! I mean, see, at this least, is the alien movement. At least it's the the guy you hate. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just throw him to the wolves. See, see uh -oh. this is where you'll see an actual how long a turn will take, and there's nothing you can do really. Yeah, you're not really watching anything too exciting. You're seeing well, yourself getting hit. I guess you can look positions. up John Henry on Wikipedia, like I'm doing. <laughs> I, uh, well, I was, when we were playing the earlier level, I was surprised just because you, I, I thought you'd be able to at least follow the guys moving on the map, but you're just kind of stuck here. Yeah, that's the problem. Like, and I guess I could hop swap, between two yeah, guys. Yeah, swap but... to the other guys. That's the only knock on it. I mean, to me, the game has a lot of mission variety. Like, you'll have escort missions. Um, there'll be, there's one where, like, a boss is storming your base and you have to keep them back in enough time. Some pretty cool boss fights where you need, like, a sniper. Um, I like that the missions were not always just, like, get to set goal or kill this, you know, this many. So, there are some that are like that, though, but... There's, there's a I'm good chunk hope of variety. This gate counts as cover. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think it does. Do these? Do you think, Kim? Do you think these guys have uh, potential to like appear in a future Smash Brothers? Like, are they iconic enough? You know? I don't know. Some like um, Helgeson is actually asking me earlier if I thought this could become a franchise, and I said I think this is a one and oh, yeah. done in my opinion. I think so? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think it's cool for what it is. I don't like think the characters like I wrote in my review that I thought it could have used a little more personality and you're like, oh, you're fighting aliens with Abraham Lincoln. Like, Enemy's how could that not? Be? But it's like it's kind of the characters don't really shine as much. And uh, combat is great. Like the ideas are great. Um, like I said, I enjoyed it a lot. I heard there was a mode where you can play as an Abraham Lincoln robot. Yes, that was in multiplayer. It's like uh, you can shoot, but you also have like these rock'em sock'em robot powers <laughs> that you can just go back at someone. I'm actually doing that motion right now with my hands because I'm a big dork, but uh, that's actually the fastest of the multiplayer modes. So there's three modes. Um, one is just like you battling against someone else and whoever eliminates the other person first wins but it can last like up to 30 turns and then there's one that's like a five turn sorry 20 turns there's one that's a five turn based thing where you have to collect as many collectibles on the field as you can so that's by destroying stuff and you can also like hinder your opponent's progress during that and then there's that third mode which is just robot fights um, which go really fast actually those take about a minute and what's good about the multiplayer is everything you do carries over to your single player so if you earn money in that you'll get it in your single player which will help them because you spend money to revive your teammates on those little shining green hourglasses over there and um, also money also helps you get better equipment so that's always a good thing too which uh, which multiplayer mode was your favorite during your time with it um I kind of liked the five turn just like because it wasn't too long just find and collect things because I also could play it where I could kill off my um, my opponent's guys in the mix of it, but then still collect things. Um, I wasn't in love with the multiplayer modes. Like, they just felt like, yeah, these are extra and they're nice that they're here. And Players the only turn. reason I see to really engage in them is if you want to, like, increase your money to benefit you in the game. So stuff you get in, like, you can get money in multiplayer to upgrade your single player stuff, or is it, like, totally separate? No, it, it carries over. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Yeah. What's the plan? Cool. Well, Kim, what did you uh, end up giving the game? An eight. An eight? Just yeah. a solid eight. Just a solid eight. I feel like it's... Just a sideways infinity It's solid. Symbol. I feel like it could have been 
a lot still. better had you not had to watch turns, but I had a blast playing it and I was glued to it. So I think that always said something. See, those are one of those yeah. little gears that you can get and uh, they'll oh, the help you thing? upgrade. No, down there there's a gear, but cool. Well, I think we're gonna wrap this up. Thank yeah. you, uh, John and Justin. Thank you for playing. Thank you. Appreciate you guys fun. adding your commentary. Kim, uh, mm -hmm. thank you for playing the game and reviewing it, and then writing about it. You know, writing about the game after playing it and scoring it, yeah, so that we would know whether or not we should play it. That's for sure. that's your profession, I believe. Alrighty. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs>